friends and welcome to another vlog. We are here, we are doing a break, it is Monday. This will probably be a two week vlog because I am leaving for Chicago in two days. You know how it goes, so. I feel like hot because I just had to make a phone call and phone calls stress me out even though it was literally like a three minute call and super NBD. I just called my bank to put in my travel notice because my bank absolutely will turn my card off if I don't. So I had to put that in and then while I'm here, I'll just put in my travel notice for Gen Con because last time I called to put in travel notices, it was like too far out. So I wish that that. We got Burger King. They forgot my French toast sticks and gave me a sandwich instead with sausage. So I won't eat that. So Chris is eating both sandwiches and he gave me his hash browns because he is so good. So we're going to do that and I'll show you the groceries. It's mainly stuff for Chris because again, I'm not going to be here and I did really, 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 really bad about cooking last week because, well, to be fair, one of them was I accidentally got cream of mushroom instead of cream of chicken. So I couldn't make one of the things. And then the other thing I ran out of sour cream. So basically I simply couldn't cook those meals. So I got the stuff to fix those so I can make those this week and then stuff for Chris for while I am gone. Okay, friends, let's go deal with the groceries. I ended up only eating one of the hash browns and I gave Chris his back because though he's a sweetie pie, I can't eat that much hash brown. And honestly, oh, but that's a fact. I feel like, I was gonna say besides the fact that I wasted my money, but Chris ate the other sandwich. So it wasn't like an actual waste. So I'm not like really that mad about it because I am choosing to be positive, okay? We're turning a new leaf around these parts. We're choosing to be like positive and you know. We'll see. Let's get into the garbage. So we got the classic, the Diet Coke. You know, you know, it's my life blood. world gives me shit for drinking Diet Coke. Listen, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. So if the only thing I have that I'm doing that's putting in me that's like, you know, toxic probably is Diet Coke, we're gonna go with that. We got tampons because that's what we're doing right now with our lives. Sour cream, this I'm gonna use for the fajitas. Um, Chris is trying this better than bouillon, roasted chicken base for these like soups that he makes. Maybe he'll show you, he probably won't, but maybe. The cream of chicken because I accidentally got cream of mushroom last week. We zoomed in. Okay, whatever. Honey Dijon mustard for these sandwiches Chris is planning on making. They're like turkey veggie sandwiches. They only, whoa, you guys, be careful. Don't go diving. They're not meant to do that. There we go. They only had organic cotton balls, so we got a bag of that for wax changing. Um, sandwich stacking pickles for Chris's sandwiches. Um, Knockoff Excedrin because we ran out. Um, lunch meat oven roasted turkey breast for Chris. Two things for his sandwiches include spinach. Red onion, mushrooms, tomatoes, and a cucumber. Lots of produce this week. The merchant ended up coming to $106 in case you were curious. Because Chris got some like of like the quick frozen stuff, but that shit's always like expensive. So that like added to the bill. Um frozen broccoli. I don't really know if Chris wanted that. I don't really know what it's for. Romaine for Chris's sandwiches. Veggie straws to go on the side of his sandwiches. Carrots for the sandwiches. Some potatoes for the soup that Chris does. I'm gonna ask him if he'll um, film that for you next time he makes it. I'll show you the sandwiches and stuff, but we'll see. If it doesn't happen, it's because he said no. He got these burgers and something to eat while we're gone. Rolled them off the shell. There's spirals. I like this um, Walmart brand artisan craft box mac and cheese. This one's my favorite, the pepper one, but I'm gonna try the Italian five cheese as well this time. Chris got a big fat thing of 
Bagel bites, pepperoni. And then last but not least, some keto bread for Christmas sandwiches. And then for my little sweet treat, I went with the Walmart brand tag along for the Girl Scout cookies. Some places, I was never a Girl Scout, okay? If you are a Girl Scout or a Girl Scout, have a Girl Scout. If you're in the world of Girl Scouts, enlighten my brain, enrich me, give me the info. Why is the name of the cookies different depending on where you live? Because I'm pretty sure here in Texas, Tagalongs are called peanut butter patties. And I know, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called some places at least. Maybe not Texas, not maybe not here, but I know some places they're like peanut butter patty, I think. But like back in New York, they're called Tagalong. And I'm pretty sure Samoas are called Samoas back home, and then some places they're called Coconut Delight. So like, why? I feel like if it's like a company, why are they like, why is the name different depending on the location or is it depending on the troop? Are they like, cause like when I worked retail, I worked at Hallmark and I worked at a corporate store, but then there was also independent stores that kind of made their own rules and did their own thing. So is it like an independent troop versus a corporate troop? What's the tea on the Girl Scouts? Let me know. Down below. So I didn't participate in that. I didn't really participate in anything because I was pretty much the world's most shy kid. Like, painfully shy. And so I didn't really do things involved having to be like away from my house and stuff. I didn't even like do sleepovers with my like actual friends because Kind of that stressed me out too much probably because I'm shy and then like I'd be like well, what if I like need a snack or something I don't want to like, have to ask somebody for a snack and bother them so anyhow it's just my own personal issue but yeah let me know because I've always wondered that because I think it's so odd what's that broccoli in there Oh, a million of these veggie tables. I've already had mushrooms. But I always have a lot of mushrooms. And we also had red onion. Whatever. We've got a lot of red onion. And it's not fitting in that drawer with the rest of the veggies, so that's fine. Throw all of the rest of this stuff in the cabinet. like a couple of the cell font and the july font i have just been vibing now i did everything i needed to do i'm gonna start thinking about my august kits and what i want to do for them because I'm probably gonna film that today i'm gonna film a perfect pair i just want to show you guys i have one more book coming but the sweet christy love her she's one of my planner pals she sent me a like, cute little amazon gift card to celebrate my shop anniversary and so naturally I had to pick up some new books and I picked up because like I've been doing this thing where I'm only allowed to read books that I have physically but I've been really wanting to read all of these so now I have them physically thanks to her one more book coming that like was coming separately and that's Final Girls by Riley Sager I'll show it to you when it gets here but the ones I picked up is part of your or 
yours truly by abby jimenez the second book in the part of your world series a good girl's guide to murder the first book in this series the nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which is like me choosing to read a book this thick wild but like people say this book is so good what is it even about it's about world war ii which i think that's like kind of interesting time in history and then expiration dates by rebecca searle i have just learned that i really really love rebecca searle's writing and this one sounded pretty interesting it is um <laughs> every time daphne bell meets a man she receives a slip of paper with his name and number on it the exact amount of time they'll be together the papers told her she'd spent three days with martin in paris five weeks with noah in san francisco cisco and three months with hugo her ex-boyfriend turned best friend daphne has also been receiving the number of papers for over 20 years always wondering when there might be one without expiration finally the night of a blind date her favorite at her favorite la restaurant there's only a name jake so very interesting so thank you christy love you to death very excited about all of these and yeah i'm gonna go bring them to my tbr car and yeah and i'm gonna figure out my august kit lineup i'll show you guys my thought process while doing that which isn't really much because i don't have anything going on in august i mean i have gen con but i already did that week because it's like was the last week of july as well so i don't really have any specifically only happening in august events no like birthdays that they get like all their own spread for so we'll see we'll see what we decide to go with here um, hmm. <laughs> well i do have an spc order i don't really know if there's anything super summery in here so let me Check. You know, neither of these kits are like super fantastic, so we're just gonna not stress about that. We do have some kits just sitting here because I haven't put them away, which is probably a bad life choice because it got really humid in here, so I feel like they're a little bit curly, but hey, it's fine. These are kind of summery. This kind of gives more spring than summer IMO, but what i always do is i start out by pulling out everything i might want to use and then we slot her all in here was some other kind of things i had considered last month when i was looking for some summery things so let's just find a spot for this here we go Okay, so this is two, three, four, five. I need eight kits total. So whether or not I use all of these, I still am gonna need like three more kits. So hmm. It's like almost running into my birthday month, which September is my birthday month, and it's going to be all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, we'll use this summer camp kit for sure. So four, five, six, we need two more kits. the road trip kit i don't think i'll probably ever actually go on a road trip so i could just use it it's kind of like very oh we'll use the ice cream shop that would be cute okay i think those will be the kits that we choose to use here now we just gotta decide what is going where so these are kind of you guys can't really see but cool watery vibes we'll keep those together we will keep these together i guess these maybe maybe not mm. go with that that'll be 
be the vibes, okay? We figured it out. We figured out all of the weeks. And like I said, my way of figuring it out, simply, really random. This is just what we're doing. Because I had a bunch already pulled out that, like, sort of worked. So, made my life easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going through this little binder thing that I have from SPC. It's what I put my kit line up in. I'm just moving forward all of these kits. Let's go pop the new ones in. You know. Oh my goodness gracious me oh my. There we go. Holy macaroni. It's giving me some issues. The filming planner side. There's always way more going on over here because I always have my current week's kit and my next week's kit in my planner, like my everyday planner. So it's like two more over here on me. This side of things. But basically, next week, the anniversary sale. Um you guys and the sale will be over by the time you guys see this which is so very odd to think about but what i'm thinking currently in my like brain is that i am going to have a perfect pair video go up day one of the sale to help people shop and then they the so that's my wednesday video and my friday video will be my kit lineup which again to help people see what exactly i'm using because like in the perfect pair i obviously show y'all the kits with the foil and stuff but then you can see what i actually end up picking so that's also very interesting also these bins that have all the oops bags in them they're they've just been shuffling around my office for like the past week like every day i just like move them over somewhere now move them here move them there move them everywhere I'm going to go back on Chris's desk here in a moment. Oh my goodness. Simply. There we go. And then this ice cream in here. Okay. Got that situated. So we can figure out the foil, which by doing that, I come over to my computadora. Okay, and I'll get this up and I'll show you what I do. I don't get what is wrong with this camera. Just sometimes it'll just stop recording. But then I'll put my custom multi in here, what font I want. And then sometimes I'll be doing mixed foil. So I'll put which specific foil I want in there. And then anything random that I may need, I put down here. I don't need many days of the week. Actually, yeah, I probably could use them. So gotta remember that I need those as well. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. Go through and figure out what I wanna do for all these kits. Okay, I filmed my haul clip and I filmed the perfect pair. I'm sneaking suspicion that Andrea's taking a nap because she was up super late last night. So um, if I don't do my plan with me today or whatever, I can always do that tomorrow because I'm doing nothing tomorrow. Literally not a damn thing on the agenda. Chris and I probably will go on a date. We, well, it's Tuesday. We usually go on our, Tuesday's usually our weekly date night, but we usually go out to dinner the day before I leave for a trip. So we can spend some time together, but it's like freezing in here. When I'm not working, it's really cold in here because I don't have my foiler going. So this is literally how I sit at my desk in case you're wondering. Um, this is it. This is how we just vibe and chill because I'm chilled. You know what I mean? Really cold as in. For some reason, my reel yesterday really popped off. I don't really understand it. I also like low-key want to switch my Instagram from, from a professional Instagram back to like a personal one because I'm not allowed to use like copyrighted audio, which is like so annoying. So it's like I'm just stuck using like stupid audio so yeah the whole thing really be making me m a double dog d you know so friend madison invited me to a game of azul which i'm sure i will lose out because i'm really bad at azul but hey um i'm watching some youtube and just vibing hanging chilling honestly 
I'm just thrilled to feel better than I did yesterday because I felt so shit yesterday. That it's just like a great time to be alive right now. Okay, guys. It's time to prepare dinner. Chris and I were just playing some. It's a very serious Mario Kart. I played in like forever, and I had bought the like um map expansion expansion, I guess. But um, it was like a delayed release. It was like, a little bit here, a little bit there. So annoying. But it's all out now. So we were playing some of those maps, which was a fun, 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 fun. Hopefully, I act actually remembered to save the pin of what I'm making for dinner. Okay, maybe I took a screenshot of it and one can hope. <sighs> I did. Heck yeah, gamer. Okay. Let's get out our ingredients. they're submerged in liquid place it okay add the chicken okay so i can get the chicken going and then i'll catch up with you okay. so chicken is going we're going to use the little mandolin situation here to get the onions good and going knife so you can cut off the edges and like the butts. I do have a scrap bowl right here. I am filming just so you know. It's fine if you're in it. I'm just giving you the warning. Hello YouTube. Me, I told them that maybe you'll teach them your soup pack. Ooh, maybe if you're lucky. You have a little hacky poo for a quick little soup. Definitely should have bought more white onions, but it's all good in the hood. These are all really weird. They're all like short and thin. I don't really know how to describe them. Based on the um, people getting stuff out of their gardening, like harvesting their gardens videos, I feel like that means that they weren't planted deep enough. But what do I know? I'm not a gardener. Growing up, we did have a garden though. Um, but I feel like all I like genuinely remember us having like in our garden was tomatoes, which I don't eat and I still don't eat them to this day. It wasn't me just being a picky child. I just hate tomatoes. When I get the butter, because you put the butter in and then you add the onions, I believe. But it was that and cucumbers. Okay. So you're gonna stir onions and butter together, leave onions to cook, stirring occasionally for about 12 minutes. So this will work out by the time I'm done with all of this. The chicken will hopefully be about done. So, or it'll definitely be done. Because it's like that, and then you have to put the noodles in and do something for seven minutes. And yeah, 
so it should all be good. I don't know why I assumed since it was a casserole that it didn't need to be pre-cooked, but that doesn't really make sense because there's no way it would just cook fully in the casserole dish from raw. So that was just me being a silly billy. But, okay, let me get the rest of the lights on in here. Okay, get the glove out. Glovity glove glove. Protect myself. Get these onions sliced. Now, I'm supposed to use one of the onion packets, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably just gonna put both in. And it doesn't call for garlic, but something tells me that I will be adding some. You know? So I just think that's the vibe of everything in life. I feel like onions and garlic just go together like peanut butter and jelly. You can't like super have one without the other. and once it goes the whole thing goes in the oven so I feel like it'll have time to break down and then I do have a bunch of veggies that I offered to prep for Chris for his sandwiches he's trying to eat healthier this week while I'm out of town he doesn't want to eat out a lot so we got like I have to make these like turkey veggie sandwiches and I like to encourage him and like help out with his healthy eating by um, prepping the vegetables because I personally think that cutting vegetables is fun which I know is like very weird but I just do. Take about 12, so I'll set it for 12 and see what's up at 12 minutes. Okay, let's see what it says next. Let's turn the onions, da 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 da. We'll add water in the onion soup mix to the pot. So, how much water? Three cups. Okay. My measuring cup's only a two cup measuring cup, but I really don't even. Here she is. So, we'll mix that in the onion soup mix. Whisk it well, then add the egg noodles to the pot and push them around so they're submerged in the liquid. Because I'm gonna do two of the onion soup mixes, I think I'm just gonna do like extra water. Should be fine. And then we will cook the noodles for seven minutes and add the cream of chicken, salt and pepper until the noodles are coated. Add the chicken, dump it all into a nine by 13, spread out the cheeses, add the fried onions, whatever or you mix together the cheeses, the onion, and the onions, and then you'll put it on top. Okay, so that's pretty much all I can do for the prep of that. So in the meantime, well actually that's all I need to prep some salad to go on the side, like my planned side dish for this. Well, I didn't plan a side dish, so this is like,
option taken care of so I can up. Actually, I think I'm just gonna, we can keep that together, but I think I'm just gonna actually chop the lettuce. I think for what we're doing, this is just fine. Just some simple side salads. Don't even like really have all that much to put on them if I'm being honest. I should probably get out a cutting board, but I did clean the counter, so it's whatever. situated there with the lettuce part. slide back all the way so I'm gonna have to like fourth the onion in order to cut it on here I'm um, telling you right now that was not enough butter for the amount of onions I used so I definitely used more onions than I had to because they are starting to stick so we're gonna throw a little bit more butter I have this like Stick that I've been um, using very oddly and scraping butter off, so I can't use it to measure anything. So we'll use some of that in there, okay. Okay. I like my fingers are gonna be stained purple from this onion, but hey, that's fine. Worse things can happen, worse things have happened. Definitely be adding some of this to our salads. I didn't like think about, if I would have thought about it, I would have just grabbed like a salad kit at the grocery store, but I didn't think about it. So here we are. obnoxious onion to cut because it's so big. But I'm trying to think about what I have dressing wise. We do have like Greek, we have Caesar. I think something more like vinaigrette-y will be what this meal needs on the side. So it's going to be like heavy on like creamy and cheesiness. So beautiful. 
couple fresh red onions.
actually scoop out some of these noodles because it's still so hard to wait for me. Hee hee. Ha ha. Ho ho hum. Joke's on me. I'm gonna say that's maybe like two ounces. Who knows? It's all a guessing game around here. I don't think that really probably makes much of a difference, but it's whatever. So we're gonna do that. And then what does it say to do? Put on the lid and cook for like seven minutes? Oh, I just covered the lid. Place the lid on the pot. Then I turn off the heat a little bit so it gets to a boil. And deal with that. Oh, I'm gonna figure out these salads. Put on some maybe peppers, banana peppers. We have those. Does that sound bad? Um, deli turkey, like turkey lunch meat. Do you guys like tomatoes? Tomatoes are a food that I like genuinely wish that I liked, but they really are horrible, IMO. The flavor, the texture, everything about them is bad. But I love ketchup and I love tomato sauce. It's just real for life tomatoes or not? for me this did say to stir occasionally so we're gonna do a little stir okay smells really good so that's promising we got our other tomato i think i'm not gonna cut off the butt because it's gonna give me something to hold on to while i cut As you guys can't really see but yeah I remember growing a ton of tomatoes and a ton of cucumbers when we had our garden in the backyard. I think it's just because there wasn't, my dad's backyard has like no sun. And that's like been a point of contention for all of us with him because he has a pool and he used to get mad at us for not wanting to go in the pool. I don't like swimming, but um, to begin with, never have. I didn't want the pool. When he was getting a pool, I cried. And so I'd rather keep the tree in the backyard, but there's like no sun back there because of the neighbor's tree. So it's like, Doesn't ever really get hot also. Like upstate New York, it gets like 80 degrees, and that's like the hot weather. So, okay. We did all of that. So then the cream of chicken will go in whenever that's done. 
the regular chicken is about to be done so we'll check that in a second whenever i figure out what my next step here is we're gonna need a greased 9 by 13. that's easy peasy we got her out we'll grease her when we get there um and then in a mixing bowl i need to do the cheeses and the onions how much cheese and onions it says two cups of mozzarella this whole bag half of a cup of parmesan this is one and a half cups so like i don't know like a third of it sure we'll do that I just love parmesan though so there's that and it says two cups of the onions Two cups of onions, two cups of French's crispy fried onions. They, I couldn't find those at the store. That would be like eight ounces. This is three ounces. Pretty sure I have more in the fridge or in the cabinet. So we'll just use what we have and that'll be good enough, I guess. I'm not going to the store for more right now. We'll mix that up and then this will get like put on top before you put it in the oven, I guess. It's like crunchy onion top. This is good. I feel like my whole life had like a thing against casseroles because I think the word casserole grosses me out. Okay, I can now throw away all of the trash in my trash bin. shredding it a because i hate this method and b because i don't really want the chicken so i want to be able to pick the pieces of chicken out which i can't really do if it's shredded so i'm just like kind of like shredding it just into big chunks so that me the meat hater can just pick it out easily it's like harder once it's all shredded in there you know Had to call Chris in here when I was seasoning this to show him how like wild I go with the seasonings because he's having issues that whenever he cooks he says it's bland and I was sneaking suspicion. But he's following what the recipe says to do for spices, which I simply don't do. Okay, so we did that and then we're gonna remove the lid. Add the cream of chicken with herbs. 
just because that's, like I said, all I still had. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get a rubber spatula. I have like this long skinny one that's good for getting inside like a can. Turn this down. Ew, that like plopped in here and it was disgusting, but. Oh, okay. So what do we do if we add that? Add that, salt, pepper, right? Stir until the noodles are coated in this chicken soup situation. Oh my gosh, ow. I just sprayed some at me. It's very hot in here. I mean, it's melted and incorporated. I think mine's a bit more liquidy than it should be, which again, is probably my fault to add extra liquid. But that's another thing with casseroles is I think they're always dried out and I would really rather not. So add the chicken and stir well. The chicken. Again, you probably would wanna do more chicken than I did, but I will be picking the chicken out. If I was making it for just me, I would have no chicken and just have any noodles. Okay. We do that and then we are going to put this into the baking dish and spread it out evenly. Turn the heat off. loves to just um, let them stack up. And then the dishwasher's clean, but he's not emptying it, so he just always has like a million dishes. Okay, so dump the shredded mozzarella and parmesan into a bowl, add the onions, stir that together, and put this on top of here. Okay. It's like a lot, it just says to spread it on evenly. Okay, like I said, this seems like a lot, but what it said to do so oh you guys can't say there it is it's all even on there and then it says to cover it with aluminum foil and put in the oven for 20 minutes and then uncover it for five minutes to crisp up the pack and i'm also just going to toss our salads into the fridge for now Set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, that's set. I'm just gonna put our salads with the dressing in the fridge, the dressing on the side. I'm just gonna literally pop them in the fridge for right now, and then I'll pull them out when it's time for dinner. And I'm gonna clean up the counter and the stove, wipe everything down. I might ask Chris to come start the dishes, just so that he has a pet star. I'll see what he's doing. I'll give him the option. If he's either, I'm gonna let him know there's a lot. So, give that 20 minutes and then I will give it the good old five minutes on cover to crisp on up. Spray it on the counters, the oven, the stove, whatever. <coughs> Seven minutes. 
I just checked it. She's looking good. Pull it on out. Here it is. Show it to you. It smells good. It's like garlic bread, honestly. But here she is. I'll give you an update on what we think whenever we try it. Never salads, I dressed them. Okay, we're here with our review. Okay, so did you tell them what it was? Mm -hmm. I okay. cooked it with them. Cool. So I give it an 8 out of 10. It was really yummy. I also gave it an 8. It's pretty good. We'll make it again. It made like a shit ton. There's so much left over, but. There's actually a metric fuck ton. That's a scientific term for how much is left. This much is left. Like even, it looks like even more when you look at it this way. Oh my god, dude. It's so much. That's like four more meals. Four for more. sure. So, there's an absolute gargantuan amount left. And because I doubled the sauce, like right now it's kind of probably juicier than it should be. But that's a good thing because then when we go to microwave it for leftovers, it won't get dried out. So. Probably not. That is the setup for dinner. Okay, I'll just let you move this a little bit with some of the pals from our Discord. And did horrible per usual, but I think I'm gonna cuddle up and read some of my book. I was having a hard time getting into it, but honestly, I literally think it's because I was trying to read a thriller in the daylight, and thrillers just need spooky vibes. But first things first. Is that actually no? First things first. Things first. I'm gonna get my phone tripod. I don't think I'm gonna need it tomorrow. I'm not planning to film anything, so I'm just gonna pack her so I don't forget her. Because if I forget her, Andrea will make fun of me for it because it's one of the things on my don't forget list. As well as where is my travel bag? Here it is. When we travel, it's part of my like luggage. What the hell is in here? Oh, a bunch of moleskins. I just leave that in here because not. There's a bag in here that has USB C in it and some pens. I don't know if I'm gonna need the pens. Some Advil and some lotion. Okay, I'll toss it in there. And then I am gonna change the wax in here. Because it's about that time of the day. I'm gonna toss in peppermint sticks because that'll be like a nice calming scent for Betty Bye time. And you know, to relax me while I read my spooky book. Oh, for Chris and I had such a fun evening playing Mario Kart together. We haven't done that in like we've only played once since we've lived here, and we used to play Mario Kart together like every day for a while so back home we're back in new york the fan being on really makes hot dumping my wax difficult because it's like the top layer is dried so there's that but we are also going to quickly here pull a new melting basket because i don't have much in mind and one of the things i have in there is this loaf from Sassy Girl Aroma and it always really devastates me when I don't like a loaf from there because they're so expensive. But I'm just gonna mail it to my sister. Chris also didn't like it, so she'll ask me if I like it. She doesn't watch my videos, so she'll never know if the answer is not really. I'll just say Chris didn't like it. So, also, we got like the world's most amazing solicitation on our door this today when we went to go on our walk there was a like thing on our front door handle and it was for um i think at&t fiber internet is about to be available in our area which is awesome our internet is trash but i'm gonna quickly quickly um finish up my packing i folded the laundry and threw a bunch of other stuff over here that i want to pack um threw over a couple more pairs of undies and a bra because are you going on vacation if you don't bring enough underwear that you can afford to poop your pants every day no so I'll do that pack my bra i have a my white tank top 
sweatpants shorts and a sweatshirt for travel these are my like comfy hangout around the house pants because i'm a perpetually cold girl so i like to do that i always bring my headphones not that i'm gonna need them but just in case and i just bring like a handful of different tops i also have the entire game of night shift in my bag which is like huge but i have plenty of room so it's fine I'm just bringing all of the shirts that i want to bring my hannah montana shirt why not scrunchie my scrunchie in here other top and then oh bringing my bg girlies shirt because me andrea and kane all have the same shirt and something tells me that andrea's gonna bring hers and i mean we can all wear them and take a picture together it'd be cute and then a flannel for layering depending on the weather oh that's done and now we will go film Pulling a melting basquito. Let me close my drawers. They do close at least. At least we're still in the drawer. Being able to close. But all I have in here is two more scent shot cups and a bathroom scent. I've been too lazy to change the bathroom scent. One Vanellope and one Fix It Felix. So I only have two more things in this summer drawer. I'm just going to pop them both out. One is a Captain Crunch Fruity Pebbles scent and one is a Fruit Loops scent. Which is called Mario Party, which is funny because we're just talking about Mario. But those are the only other two summer scents I have. I'll pull them out because I don't really give a fuck about summer scents, honestly. Okay. So, in the coffee drawer, we'll grab Donut House Pancakes from Harper James. I've had mixed performance from that shop from the mint drawer we'll get peppermint bark from fantasy wax from the first general bakery we'll get monster cookie fluff puffs from rose girls next general bakery we will take banana nut bread oatmeal cookies buttery brown sugar from birdies making sense the next one we'll get snoop scoops ahoy zucchini from vcs these guys said that they were gonna like be closing for business like forever ago and I'm pretty sure they're still open. So I feel like it was just a scam to get people to buy stuff. Ooh, this is one of my favorites from Fantasy Wax. It is French Baguette Brown Sugar. It's a creature. And we'll swing back around to the coffee drawer. We've got caffeinated cereal from the pharmacist's daughter. I think this is one of Andrea's customs. Um, let's skip the mint because I think I only want one mint in the basket basket because i have to be like in the mood for it um we'll grab this birthday cake banana bread zucchini bread and buttercream frosting from l3 we have got do i like what it smells let me see it smells like fine i'll probably put it in the living room candy corn from harper james strawberry pound cake pistachio ice cream white elephant exchange from l3 Just strawberry white cake and zucchini bread from Fantasy Wax. And there we have it. Got a pretty full basket. It's a lot of big things this time. So, probably take us a bit to get through it. I feel like 50% of my ba basket last time was just packaging from Scent and Shot Cups. But now that that's done, the mint is going to melt in here. We're going to turn out oh, the fan. Not the lights. We turn the fan back on, turn the lights out. I'm going to continue reading Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. Hopefully I get pretty far in that. Happy Tuesday, y'all. We are just work, work, working away at my cat lineup. My hair is stuck. Chris and I went for a walk. You know my hair now that I'm finally starting to cool down because I was so sweaty. I am currently, I was going to say in the middle. It's the only one left. I'm pretty much in the middle. I'm like 44 or 46% of the way done. But I'm gonna put up my Lazy Girl Kindle stand and get my page turner going and all the things because I swear to God, when my Kindle is set up on here, I read so much faster. So much faster. My book, I think, says it's gonna take me about three hours to finish it. And I'm gonna start The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna because I'm just so curious. Two hours and 58 minutes. So that's like not so bad. It's currently like five o'clock. So I could be done with this book by like 
7 30 probably because i doubt it'll actually take me that long especially because i am gonna not like i'm gonna i'm at 45 percent that's funny because i thought i was at 44 or 46 i'm literally at 45 right smack dab in the middle but i am going to um give myself percentages like i'm not gonna allow myself to check my phone until i'm at 60 percent, and then i'll check it again but that's like my kryptonite right now is this book is not gripping me which is very sad i was very very excited about it i feel like lately the books i'm the most excited for are letting me down and then the books i'm like kind of dreading reading are not letting me down that's why i'm like excited to read the Kristen Hanna book because it's like not my up my alley and it has 1.7 i think million reviews on goodreads with an average of a 4.6 so that's saying that of the million people most people basically have rated it five stars because goodreads doesn't do half stars so like 75 percent of people have rated it basically like a five five star so that's wild so I do think that's what's going to be next. And I have no plans today other than to sit here and ra 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 read. Y'all, I'm unwell. I've been like tearing up reading this book. I did not expect it to be sad. But I'm going to give it four stars. Because the first half was really boring. But the second half really done did it. It is unlike any Riley Saker I've ever read. I will give it that. Okay. I finished my book, obviously. You guys know that. Up next for me is dinner. I'm not making dinner because Chris ate. I don't think he knew that I was planning on making dinner. So like, is what it is, you know. So, I think we're just gonna make a box of mac and cheese and call it a ding dong day. Yeah? I put some barbecue on it, so it's kinda good. I'm not gonna tell you try it. Yo, I lost you guys so long ago and I finally found you. I had an entire box of mac and cheese for dinner. I don't know if I should be disgusted or proud, but I'm gonna choose to be proud. I'm too lazy to make you guys stand up, but also, I came out here to tell you guys so long because I need to switch out the memory card and empty you guys off the memory card and pack you guys. And so the next time I pick you up, it'll be for a different video. The Chicago vlog, so. See you when I get back. Hello, friends. I'm back from Chicago. It is Monday. I got home yesterday, technically, but I really had absolutely not a damn thing to show you because all I did was simply got home, right? At like, we landed in Austin a little bit before 10. Chris picked me up at like 10.45. By the time I like got to Andrea's house and then I got home by like 11 15. I took a shower, I filmed the last part for the anniversary sale video, and then I literally laid in bed all day. I took like a couple hour nap. Chris and I went and got Mexican food, and then I came home and laid in bed for the rest of the day, literally. So wasn't really like a ton to show y'all, but we did just get um McDonald's brekkie went grocery shopping. I'll show you the groceries. Um, I never got around to making the fajitas, so we're gonna make that this week. It is 4th of July and we're going to Andrea's, so I have to make a pasta salad for that. And then I have a bunch of shit to make taco bowls as like lunches for the week. So that's where we're at. I'll show you the groceries. We ended up being 87, I think. So our, we always say it's like a good week if it's under 100, which it was. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube, eat my brekkie brekkie poo, call it a ding dong day. Who was ready for the grocery haul? I bet you are. The bug people are coming today, aka pest control, aka we just get our house right so the bugs don't appear because bugs gross okay let's get on into it okay oh we only got one diet coke because chris said we only needed one we'll see because it is sale week and those weeks i do a not a lot of sleeping so we'll see how that works um i needed cereal because 
because mine had gone stale while I was gone. So we got Walmart Lucky Charms. Um, I got three bags, small bags of shredded lettuce for my taco bowls. I would have just gotten like the big bag, but the big bags all expired yesterday. So, no. Um, some deli turkey for Chris, like sandwich turkey. Um, Fiesta blend cheese for the taco bowls. We got some provolone and some salami for the pasta salad, which only we got on Wednesday for Thursday. Um, some mac and cheese for Chris. He wanted to try the Cheeto mac and cheese and then he got his standard. This is my favorite flavor of the artisanal, artisan crafted mac and cheeses from Walmart. The Italian five cheese is so good. We got the garden rotini for pasta salad because is it pasta salad without colorful noodles? No. Bell pepper for pasta salad. Mini mozzarella pearls for the pasta salad. Yellow onion because we were out. Various things. I always like to have all the types of onions on hand. We did pick up grapes for some fruit. I love black grapes. And I just get like a big sleeve like of these of tostadas. I don't know. It's like a couple of dollars. And then I'll heat them in the oven. And um, that will be my um crunchy part for my taco bowls. Um, bagel bites for easy for Chris. Broccoli for the pasta salad. This is just two things of ground chicken for the taco bowls. Oh, they changed the um, packaging for the almond milk. It's now this weird bright green package, but whatever. Sour cream for the taco bowls. And then the last bag here has taco sauce because I opened my backup one. A huge thing of Italian for the pasta salad, black olives for the pasta salad, and two packs of taco seasoning for the taco bowls. And that is, my friends, all we got at the store. I need to clean out this casserole dish because it was the like French onion casserole in here and it is old and crusty at this point. It needs to be removed from this house. It's like the one thing when I go away is Chris doesn't think to like clean out the fridge. Because had I been home I would have cleaned this out, dumped this out like a while ago personally. But okay. it's fine. That's the only thing that's like gross in here. Connor. 
seasoning. We do need to put the Diet Coke in here, and then I can close the fridge, and she can stop beeping at me. My plans for today is I need to film a plan with me, which is easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. I need to put together all the first 30 like orders baggies, which will also be easy, and I am gonna film a reel of me doing that to have that reel go up day one of the sale. I do wanna make a reel of printing, cutting, and foiling the salad that was a freebie, so we'll do that today. And I might start working on um, listings. They're all drafted. I make them live because it's going to take me some time to basically hold on. But there's like the onion, the papery part of the onion. combinations basically of items it's like basically the way it counts things it's like my scripts to begin with like when I moved to Shopify so like so you get the script work so work font one unfoiled work font one red work font one orange those are all considered different combos so I have to use like an extension app thing I forget the name of it, but I have to use that. On um, Shopify, I'm gonna get a sweater so that I can have all of my colors and stuff. But with that, basically when I add new items, I like copy a listing that has everything on it, so it's NDD. So then, whenever I want to add new colors, the way it works is I have to go into this app and then edit the colors, and then I have to copy, have it as like um, a like non-listed item, and then I have to copy that item with all the new things and go through each category in the shop and like duplicate it, duplicate like the colors and prices and it's just like a project so that will most definitely take me for forever so yeah that's on the docket for the day you know basically that is all okay guys step one of the day has been done it's not under my customs i printed the little stack of orders organized those got whatever i needed left for july freebies or june freebies print and cut foiled pr freebies all the things i um put together the first 30 order shop grab bags got that all taken care of i filmed and edited and scheduled the two reels that i needed to get done first and foremost today i do have like others that i do plan on actually doing today i have a lot of all of my august bases i want to get down so i do plan on taking care of that today and i need to pull foil it's literally 16 orders it's not gonna take me much time i need to do that and then whenever i do have my scripts i'll print cut foil those and film a plan with me and finish filling my spread from last week but that's pretty much where we're at well right now i'm actually currently working on the um the releases i just made them all active and now i'm gonna get to the other shit okay guys chris and i went for a walk and now it's simply time for me to eat food because i'm hungry i had my breakfast from mcdonald's i ate my hash from like half my sandwich but then i like got full simply so i'm gonna make mac and cheese chris just made himself mac and cheese and two things here guys that i need you to roast them for one boy is eating it straight out of the pot like he is a bachelor or 21 but anywho so that happened and then he also is eating it with a spoon which i personally 
hate, but that's like a 50-50 thing for people. But additionally, what really got me was he bit the spoon. Like the spoon was clinking against his teeth and it grossed me out so much. I told him he needed to leave the room. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna make myself mac and cheese now. I'll talk to you later. Mac and cheese is done. I've been busy filling out my spread from last week. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't come through this even a single time, so it could be detrimental to my mac and cheese life. Nope, it did not really. See, there was like a couple of pieces that stuck a little bit, but nothing a little spoon couldn't fix. Just gonna drain the noodles. I'm just gonna immediately put the salt, turn the pot off, but I like to put it back on the heat and put like the cheese and the noodles in there because I feel like it mixes together better. Yeah, you know, it's just me, but this like Italian to get pepper again at the store i do need to go to heb tomorrow i decided i'll just do it tomorrow because i do also want to film a q2 what i read book video obviously i want to look cute for that not like this and i need to get cute because the reason i need to go to heb is they sell like the big number balloons and i'm gonna buy a four four you know why am i here i'm not turning on four years old so I want to look cute for that picture too. So I think that'll be like on the docket for tomorrow. I'm sure Chris and I will go get lunch. Um, Cause it's Tuesday, Cobble Box and I'm like 99% sure we get a free one this week, which is so exciting. Cobble Box has like a loyalty card thing where like a, like not like a loyalty card, like a punch card. And like every time we go, we get two punches. And then I think there's like, I think there's eight punches per card. So like, every, like basically like once a month-ish, we get a free is always nice. Okay. That is nice and done. Mix. Beautiful, wonderful, magical. I'll probably just eat this entire thing for dinner at this point. Like three-ish, I think. Um, I do like to put um, just like black pepper on my mac and cheese. So there's that. And this will probably be like pretty much all I eat today. I might eat like a snack later because there's one touch on a movie with me, he said. I don't really remember the name of it. Something about Loris, I think. Lars? Maybe Lars? I don't really remember. About some guy being in a relationship with a sex doll. <coughs> or something weird. I don't know. But he said he wanted to watch with me, and I said that's fine. But typically, I don't know. Maybe this is weird for you guys. Me and Chris, I feel like we live together, we work together, we're always home together, so we don't like really spend that much time together when we're home. Like we have like our weekly date night, we go on walks usually once a day, and then we we'll watch shows together in the evening. Like sometimes we'll play Mario Kart or like play a game or something. For the most part, he does his thing while I do my thing, or we're working. But when we're not working, we're kind of doing our own thing. But, and so usually like the thing is is like he'll do his own thing then he'll come to bed at like 10 o'clock and we'll watch something together but like i'm not like 10 o'clock is fine for like watching an episode of something or watching like shitty reality tv or something to that effect but like coming to bed at 10 o'clock to start a movie no so i was like yeah that's fine it's just like come to bed before 10 so he's gonna come to bed at nine and yeah but i'm filling out my spread from last week um finish that when i'm done eating and then i can fill my plan with me i do need a pull foil for this handful of orders i need to add right now what i meant to do when i came in here and i forgot is i need to add the pictures of the new foils and the new fonts to the website so i'm gonna do that while i eat watch youtube play some games you know my huge have been filmed and i think i might be playing some games with some pals from our discord on bga here in a moment i don't know what time it is uh like four five o'clock one time six o'clock eastern yeah in like 15 minutes i technically need to still pull foil and i could film real laying down bases but like i don't really got shit i'm doing tomorrow so it can very much so wait you know, because I've just like been really killing it today. 
don't know what it is about glossy sticker paper. It just makes my hands feel so dry like a desert and it grosses me out. But, oh, I feel very accomplished. I got so much done and the day is still young. It's only 4 50. And it's like almost 5 o'clock. I have four hours until me and Chris are gonna like watch our movie. So, I'm not, I'm not claiming the movie, his movie. I'm not probably gonna like it, but it was cute that he came in and was like, oh, I'm gonna watch a movie with you tonight. Fresh, but I'm gonna go back to watching some YouTube, some true crime nonsense, and yeah. Oh, I'm some games at seven now. We did that for about two hours, and now I think, yeah, nearly five we started. And so now, no, no, I'm gonna take a shower and then. I think I'm gonna go read for a few hours. It's like seven, like I said, and Chris is coming to hang out with me at nine. Sir, I think that I will just lay and read for the next couple of hours until he is ready to hang out with me for a shower, obviously. And then, um, should be able to get decently far in the book that I'm reading. It's just like a romance and like two hours of reading romance. It's like 50% of the book for me. And I'm already like five chapters in, I think. So should be good, relax and watch that. And then tomorrow we'll wake up, Chris and I will go to get lunch. And then, um, Chris and I'll get lunch, I'll get what I need from H-E-B, come home, I'll film the book video I want to film. I will um, take the pictures for my anniversary and then um, I can film reels for the August bases as well as pull foil and probably do all of those orders tomorrow. And yeah, I'm starting to get a little nervous tummy for the sale, but... It's more so I get nervous that like people are gonna be on and then there's gonna be like an issue, but it'll all be fine. It'll be fine. I'm manifesting it. You guys, we're less than 24 hours until the sale and I feel like I could throw up about it, but I'm gonna come on over here. I'm gonna get tomorrow's video uploaded and I need to offload you guys because you have all of our Chicago vlog clips make sure you're subscribed over at bg girl Hayes if you want to see that chicago vlogo because that's where lot will be located but oh my god this fucking annoying ass pop-up on christopher's laptop so i am just going to get this video uploaded you know yeah nah so we're gonna go get her done okay guys you guys really scared me and you all said memory card error when i turned you on it was quite frightening but we're gonna pull foil and it's gonna be bad lighting so you're just gonna have to deal with it because i'm just being like really sweet and including you the bad lighting is simply because I'm not moving around the lighting in the room for 16 orders. It's simply, this is the whole thing. I'm going to pull foil for all of these orders with you guys, okay? This is realistically what a week before Sal looks like. It looks like the desert over here because people be waiting for the sale. So, unless people had things they needed absolutely right now if y'all did not order so the first order we have is for victoria i believe from new zealand so that's pretty cool and we need four travel underlays one travel quote and four casino underlays in shattered hollow so that's a total of nine so that works out good it's a multiple of three and with these long ass rolls that's how many are cut. So it worked out perfect. So that's how many of these are needed. Victoria used 
person's code. And her order is the only one we've gotten so far for July. So she's the first recipient of July freebies and Kristen's new PR freebie. That's pretty cool. Bunch of shattered there. Oh, there's more. We need um one shattered Las Vegas overlay, one shattered um, Los Angeles overlay, a custom multi, and custom quotes. All in shattered hollow. Honestly, I fully support these like vacation spreads in shattered hollow. The shattered hollow is so freaking fun, and I hope you love it, Victoria, if you are watching. That's everything for Victoria. I got myself a diet coke. I don't even open it. But yeah. I've been trying out since Andrea taught me about it the feature on YouTube where you can like upload three different thumbnails and see which one performs better. I'm not making them like uberly different. The one for the anniversary salad just did different fonts. And the one that I'm putting up the perfect pair. I'm doing different fonts and different colors, so we will see. We have Noelle from Georgia. She ordered these like very specific. We've discussed this before, so it's not just like she's ordering some weird things, but she had emailed me about um, wanting some like solid stickers, but like a specific size for journaling. And I said, not a problem if you provide me the size. So she wants six of those in the foil of the month. So grab those. I made them a bit shorter than the usual long strips because they don't need to be that long. Okay, we have Laura from Indiana who used Rosie's freebie or code and they wanted a build your own bundle in the foil of the month. They selected um, side underlays. So cut that and that's everything from Laura. See we've already gotten through three orders. Nice and quick and easy baby. Very easily be able to get most of all of this done today as well like production wise. And then we have Harley from Virginia who also used Kirsten's code. And Harley got two movie underlays in dark purple. I'm like uncontrollably excited to start making stuff in the new foils. Like, ugh. Obviously, I love all my current foils. But it's just always something special about getting to start using some of the new ones. Then there is a groovy buff bundle in lemongrass as long as one mixed overlay so we'll need seven lemon one two three one two three four five six seven that's for harley one Mother's Day quotes in coral. Like, do I have a coral that's open? Ooh, she's just all the way in the back. Coral has really been having its moment this summer. I think it's this summer has been more popular than coral has been since I brought it to the shop like two years ago. It's funny how that works. Just like all of a sudden a color that's been around for forever will have its time to shine. Um, two cowboy underlays in pink tie-dye. Lots of fun things in this order. Lots of variety. We love to see it. I love orders that have like a bunch of different colors. It makes it like fun to make. We need some quotes, summer quotes in blue hollow. We need one summertime two underlay in pixie magenta and one in blue hollow. Need to cut a little bit of blue hollow. Oh no, I can feel a sneeze coming on guys. <coughs> oh, I hate sneezing. 
Okay. Then we are going to need a palm trees bundle in the foil of the month as well as beach clothes. So you're going to have to everything. Sorry if you can like, I'm going to go, I'll go shut my door, but Chris is out tending to lawn. It was on his tasks to do while I was in Dallas, but he, um, had said that he was too anxious to do it because of spiders and with me not being home to save the day, you know, not that like I'm really going to do much, but hey. That's fine because he got my oil changed and paid for it, which really we love to see. So that's everything for Harley. Next up, also with Kirsten Three, we should be a popular gal. Is Chelsea from Indiana? We got two solid underlays and pink hollow. Love that I have that cut already. I really do recall that there is a ton of people who got black foil in this stack. Two rock on underlays in black. Cut that way too thick, but hey, that's whatever. Um, we need confetti headers in pink hollow. Mixed overlays in pink hollow. Okay. A two foil bundle, half in deep pink and half in black. And we have the pattern of watermelon. I'm very excited to see this foil. I think it's going to look really good. Oh my god, you guys. My sister sent me a jump scare this morning. It was like a Facebook suggested friend of like my mom's boyfriend that she was with when she died. And I literally hate that man. And his profile picture was like a mugshot. It was literally a jump scare. <sighs> Book lover one quotes. Also, he forbade my mom from ever having a Facebook. So it's kind of cringe that he has one now. And weekly essentials in pink hollow weekly essentials is like it comes with a set of date covers hole protectors and corner overlays super fun little thing to add in to any spread to give it some extra sparkle or if you want to bring in another foil color okay that's everything for chelsea we have stephanie from alabama who got Tyler's freebie and Stephanie got um, some a custom multi and mini icons in the foil of the month. So we'll just cut this in half and three solid underlays in the foil of the month and then some unfoiled things. And that's everything for Stephanie. There we go, baby. Perfect. I love when pulling foil is like a bunch of small orders. It's very satisfying because it feels like you're really accomplishing things. Um, we've Katya, I believe, from overseas. We've got a bunch of Domi's freebie, a bunch of unfoiled things, and then two mixed overlays and one solid washi overlay in um month also so that she watches all of my videos so hey girl did I say your name right if I didn't correct me I tried my best but I want to be able to pronounce it properly in the future if I did say it wrong that's everything we got next is Stephanie from Tennessee there's a bunch of black scripts so I'm just gonna count how many I need one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'll see if I have any black in here. I do. I have one. So then I need twelve. So I need to cut six strips to cut in half. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just trying to talk loud to cover up the, I believe Chris is weed whacking to start. <sighs> but yeah, I slept 
like a freaking dead last night. I was so tired. I feel like those first couple of nights back home from that trip in your own bed are just chef's kiss. It's so good. We have Isma from Florida. We have a September 2023 script sampler and pumpkin. We have some rose gold, which if you don't know, I do not pull core colors or lavender hollow core colors because I use them a lot. They're automatically cut and at my desk. And then Lavender Hollow has a different foiling process, so she's left alone. And then two solid underlays in Pixie Rose, which is the LOML, as you guys know. Let's take those. Can't really see how good any of the foil looks with the shit lighting, but like I said, this is like way too quick of a process to bring it all out. We have Kirsten, y'all know Kirsten. We have two solid underlays in purple hollow. Got one there, man, I gotta put some more, I believe. Yeah, he's weed whacking. I see him out there with his hat on, looking cute. Now, whenever he's done, I'm sure he's going to be starving. So we will go to Cabo Bob's and we'll go to H-E-B and do our things. Sometimes we'll venture to like a bookstore or something else, even though Chris said he, he like is trying to redo it. I think that's half his issue is that that book is so like tricky to read. Anywho, then Kirsten also got a space bundle in navy as well as one mixed overlay in navy. So they don't have any navy cut, so have to cut all seven strips. She also got a Gemini overlay, but because those are so tiny, I don't pull foil for them. I just figure it out when I get there because a lot of the times I will have something that will work in my like freebie foil bin that's like scraps of foil. So cut these really bad. So <laughs> there's that. And then she did get a custom of just the word coffee. So that's everything for Kirsten. We have Mika from the PR team, a bunch of unfoiled scripts and such. And then she got the last purchaser of the SPC Fruity Bundle. And she got an oil slick, which is a fun one. And then just a bunch of unfoiled scripts. Very useful. And that will be everything for Mika. Then we have Miss Andrea's order, which is just a bunch of her custom malt tea. Two, three, four in black. Right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five in black, and then one in silver, and one in lavender hollow. So we will just cut the black ones and move on. There we go. Jacqueline from Oregon. There is just the Betty Heart two header overlays in regular rainbow. Two sheets of those. Good. Um, a bunch of black scripts here from Anna from Massachusetts with Andrea's code. We're gonna count up how many we need. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Works out to have one cut here and then we can do four black cut in half to get the eight others one two three four perfect then we have Brittany using Kirsten's freebie Brittany 
Jane got the dino bundle in auto tie-dye. Did my dino plan with me inspire this? Because I used the dino bundle with the dino. The dino kit with the dino bundle in auto tie-dye. Brittany, are we twinning? Let me know if you are watching. Well, you might not watch these videos. This one's probably really long, so honestly, fair if you didn't. Do you guys like longer YouTube videos or shorter YouTube videos? I personally, like, even if it's somebody I really like watching, if their video is under, like, 20 minutes, I'm unlikely to even click on it. Because I, like, solely like long videos. Also, Space Bundle and Purple Hollow. I feel like the Space Bundle I, is not very popular. And to have two of them, it also could be because that kitten is just sci-fi art was released so that's also a, an option for why now that i think about it okay we need some custom quotes in purple hollow and an autumn tie-dye so we'll see what we have we have autumn tie-dye right here thought that lavender was purple hollow but it was lavender i don't see purple hollow so that's fine we'll just cut some purple hollow quotes and some autumn tie-dye quotes and then Brittany's order will be foil craft and the last one we have here is for meryl from pennsylvania and we have a couple of vegas overlays one in pixie gold and one in pixie hollow that will be a fun mixed metal moment if that's what they are going for. I did not have any cards, so I had to cut some. Pixie gold. Pretty sure I have a pixie hollow prepared. Yep. We need a tumbler icon, which is like the Stanley Cup icons in confetti purple. I know I don't have any of that cut. up hollow pink flower for the tumbler these are very specific colors what are you using them for if you mark something like on a calendar you just like the vibes let me know let me know because i'm very curious about this scale icon in the foil of the month pretty positive i have that yep here she is as well scale icon in purple hollow we all, no we just have that because we just cut it foil of the month um mini icons as hollow pink flower and then two summer icons in the foil of the month i'm gonna take this one and pop it into my freebie bin because i actually have used up all the scraps in my freebie bin which is wild i haven't had that be empty in for forever now that foil of the month can be popped away because this is the end of her journey with this order oh such a good one those in there for those two summer icons and then that's everything for Meryl and that's everything for this foil pulling session okay I'm gonna finish filling in my planner from yesterday and then I'm gonna get to laying down some bases until Chris is ready to go 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 full reels on them so if you want to see the whole situation follow me on Instagram I'm just gonna finish up what did i do yesterday chris and i did watch a movie together lars in the real girl i believe is what it was called oh so maybe i'll put that in huh where are the movie mark Hayes? there they are these colors are so freaking pretty okay no matter which way i spin this i should fruit fly so many dang fruit flies it's pissing me off okay 
yeah this will work out so i'm gonna put that i did read because i did do some reading before chris came in for the movie and then i'll put in the movie really obsessed with these which are like the hand holding the kindle i'm not going to use them in this current spread that i'm using because it's very pastel colored and i think that the black foil will look horrid but we're really loving them so i'm gonna put in that i did read and then this will write in lars and the real girl I told Chris I thought it was. Oh. Okay. Okay, so then I'm just going to put in here that I'm doing some work, I guess, because that seems like the best way to describe, like me, pulling the foil and now filming the reels. Put work. Where they are, here they are. Maybe I'll put plan in as well because I don't really ever mark planning and it's technically what I'm also doing. So also I don't really foresee doing a whole ton today. So maybe, I mean, you never know, but the cicadas are so annoying. I believe that's what that sound is because there's a plan in the foil bundle. Honestly, any reason to use more pixie rose scraps, I'll take. Okay. So we're caught up on that. Oh, I also have the scripts from the SPC thing. I forgot about those and the icons. Should probably be bringing those in, but I forgot they were there. So we're done with that. We're gonna just bust out into my spreads now. Bye. Okay, y'all. I'm properly bundled back up into my cozy clothes because the book video filmed. My photo shoot with my balloon was done. See. Four years old now. We're almost ready for kindergarten, you know. It's just really we're we're going places and getting somewhere and growing up. Growing up, but still playing with stickers, you know? It's just how it goes. Just like I have shit everywhere at all times. And I'm really over it. Like I have many screwdrivers and screws just like here. of the new month's freebies there okay stickers a bookmark I mean, literally just shit everywhere and i hate it well i need those days of the week though so i can finish filming these reels so yeah i only got one done before we went to lunch but it looks really really good and i think that i'm gonna do like a slide of pictures but i think this is gonna be like the main picture for my four-year post it looks cool I like it. So yeah, I'm gonna work on these reels now and first I'm gonna check my notifications because I'm like currently that some things like gonna be wrong. So I just need to like verify that all's good in the hood. Okay, I filmed all of my base reels, so that was exciting. Got that done, I need to edit them. But I do think I am gonna work quickly on these orders. It's only 3.30, so Probably be done with them around six, I would guess. Max, maybe earlier. We'll see, but gosh, my current planny poo is to just finish up those orders and yeah, that's up. My face looks really red because Chris and I just got back for a, a walk. It's like 99 feels like, what did I say it feels like? 103? Yeah. Yeah, it feels like 103. So it's very, very hot. Got my chapstick, my glasses. I think take a headache pill because I have a headache. I'm not really sure why. I've just getting quite a bit of water. I literally drank my almost entire water bottle on our walk. I think honestly it's allergies bothering me. Say hello to my shower. But take an Excedrin and then I only ended up doing one order before we went on our walk. Like I was <laughs> finishing it up and Chris was like, wanna go for a walk? And I was like, yeah. Of course. 
I am not one for exercise. Like, I don't enjoy exercise. I think it's torture no matter what it is. So I live in the mindset that I just want to move my body once a day. Like, do something to move my body. I have turned off my microphone, I think, 4,000 times. I think it's haunted. I might just have to unplug it. Oh, my God. Don't you dare shut down, you stupid bitch. But I'm going to put back on YouTube and get back to work. It feels so good right now having cold air blowing on me. Okay, well, it's like 10 o'clock. I finished working a bit ago. I FaceTimed with my sister. I did a bunch of, like, the tiered freebies. I realized I made a bunch of the like sale exclusive freebies for real and then just never did like the tier freebies so i worked on that for a bit and now I'm gonna, it's 10 o'clock i'm gonna take a shower and then i am going to schedule posts and reels and yeah that's my plan i'm getting really anxious about the sale so i need to go watch shitty tv to distract me I'm breaking out so bad from the stress. Okay guys, I'm about to work on the pasta salad. I need to put my hair up. But, um, I'm sure you guys can make it like a bunch of times, so I'm not going to show it again today because I have the faucet going to thaw out the frozen broccoli. So, I'm just going to whip this up really quick. Set you down so I can put my hair up. Sorry about the sink. You're just going to have to deal with it for a sec. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah from my rainbow bin, my big bin that I use for pasta salad, and I'm gonna get out all the ingredients and get them prepped for 4th of July tomorrow. I'm going to Andrea's, and I was in charge of pasta salad because I don't eat hamburgers and hot dogs, so I'm bringing something that I will eat. Pasta salad is done, guys. I'm so excited. So I'm in a couple of different book Facebook groups, and Sometimes on Wednesdays they, hold on. I try on the TV sometimes it just like shows previews for things. It's really annoying, but um, basically some of the Facebook groups I'm in, they do like wish list Wednesday and you can drop like your book wish list. Maybe somebody will get you something, maybe not. And there's like 400 comments on these posts, right? Like it's very unlikely. I could totally drop you a book, I could cry. Honestly, I could cry. Oh no, don't click on the nose. Don't click on the nose. I don't know what's going on there, but I have strawberry white cake zucchini bread from Fantasy Wax in right now. And it's sugared. But I am going to update my planner from yesterday. Finish filling her out. And then I will be. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play some games on my computer, chill out, hang out, celebrate my day, you know, you know, you know, you know, so, that's where we're at, but, thank you guys so much for supporting me during my sale, I just, it's just like this weird, very like, direction. imposter syndrome type situation, where like, it just feels fake, you know, production, but, finish filling this in and i'll check you in you guys later y'all Yo, get yourself a husband who will bring you your camera and your drinking bed do you want to tell them how you asked me i called them on the phone she called me from this room while i was in the other room on the phone and said baby i need you do you see this setup i have going on i could not be bothered to get up she's too cozy so Working on reading book club. I'm 30% in, and y'all, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the. Hey, Fred, shut the door. Okay, bye. Thank you. He's too loud if we don't have the doors closed. But, um, yeah. So, I just been. I just started reading. I've read like one chapter, but it's just like so boring. I just keep getting distracted because I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. The main character is just kind of insufferable to me. I don't like relate to this type of character and I feel like it's a very specific type of character and either you relate or you do not. And I land firmly in the do not relate category. I lost my chapstick, you guys, how here it is. Where basically like so far like her big thing is 
she doesn't know what she wants out of life and she just kind of like is living her life for everybody else and I know that that's like really something people struggle with having like that kind of a personality type and like it's very detrimental to a lot of people's like mental health and stuff but that's just not something that I feel like I've my whole life been very much so strongly almost not like selfish in like that type of sense but like I'm not gonna do things just to make other people happy if it doesn't make if it like makes me unhappy and she just is like the exact opposite personality of me and so I'm finding it really hard to relate to her or like give even like the slightest fuck about her so there's that also her name is Eileen which is like fine but her nickname is Elsie and I feel like I don't I feel like Elsie could maybe be a nickname for like Elise but Eileen it just doesn't feel like it works and then her best friend's name is Prudence and my childhood best friend Shanna she has like a hairless cat named Prudence and so I'm just picturing like this fucking hairless cat the whole time but basically that's where I am at with this book I'm not liking it we went to half price books and there was a woman who was like kind of talking out loud to her kids she's like yeah like the, there's the new Ashley Poston book but I don't know about it. I looked over at her. I was like, yeah, I'm reading it right now, and it's not good. And she's like, yeah, I've not heard good things. So, and she was picking up Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. But, yeah, I'm going to continue. Hopefully, I can finish this. I've been reading. This is just, like, a silly little romance book, and I've been reading it since Sunday. It's now Wednesday, which may not be, like, dramatic, but most of the time I read books in, like, one to two, within, like, 24 hours. It's just painful. It's just painful. It was a two-star, y'all, but now I just want you to join the book club and read it to see if maybe I'm the problem and that maybe it's actually good, but I did not like it. I did also send a picture of all of my books to my friend Shanna. We were t talking about, and she was like, you should read, she said something, and I was like, yeah, I'm not reading that. And I was like, you can look at my books and pick which one you think I should read, and she picked The Hunger Games, so that's what's up next in my life. I'm not going to read it right now, but just enough what in case you cared trying to give up being a lazy bag of bones and going and per not purchasing also one of like my dad's facebook friends order return address labels for me and i just simply think that's the cutest thing in the whole universe go away um but i'm gonna cook up all the taco meat now because i am starving i did get myself two cakes from nothing but cakes because we're celebrating so I think what's better than one cake, two cakes when you're celebrating. Simply. Well, I'm gonna make this taco meat. And I need to um, chop up some onion for my um, taco That's like all the wrap I really need to do so it won't take me too long but I'm excited because I'm all starving we did I don't know if you mentioned it we go to Shake Shack earlier but all I got like I just like, really had a hankering for Shake Shack cheese fries but I don't eat anything else on their menu so all I've eaten today is some cheese fries so a little bit of a meal and I have my cake I did get the July flavor of the month which is disappointment in my life currently so i just simply also got a lemon because lemon is my go-to also nothing bunt cake i feel like is slept on heavily all of like the cookie chains like crumble even tips treats like those places the cookies no they've got nothing on my girl nothing they're so good so delicious they have cream cheese frosting, which is like the only acceptable type of frosting I am oh. And just basically they're that bitch. I'm also going to just toss a couple. I'm just gonna throw the oven on to like 400. 394. Toss a couple of corn tostadas in the oven. 
to get them warm to crumple on top of my taco bowl. Ooh, literally think it is so cute that one of my dad's favorite friends. Burger companies? I like looked up on Facebook and like I didn't even see my dad as a mutual friend. I saw like my dad's friend's wife. And then I texted my dad and I was like, hey, do you know this person? And I went back on Facebook and he commented, because my dad had shared my post of like, because I made a post on Facebook being like, hey y'all, like I did release a couple of like non-planner planner items if you would like to like support my shop. And he, my dad shared it, a bunch of people did because I've got some real true supportive people in my life. Even like people I would not expect. Six forces, one and a half cups. Like basically, my mom's boyfriend, who like I literally hate, hated him my whole life. His like niece that I'm Facebook friends with, because she's literally never done anything with me, have no issues with her. I'm Facebook friends with her, she shared it, and a bunch of people. And honestly, sometimes it just feels so nice to know that you have so many people in your corner I'm rooting for you. And wanting good things for you. So we've got the taco Caesar. We have the meat going, the seasoning and water prepared. I'm gonna be using some shredded lettuce. Like I said, I'm gonna chop up some onion. do more in the future of eating this meal. What else do I need? Yes, and cheese, sour cream, taco sauce, and that's about it. That stuff over here, but yeah. So I'm also very excited to eat just so I can like eat my dessert. Well, I'm gonna also distill this back release from BGA, which I'm very excited about. It's in beta. So I might have like some kinks to work out, but regardless, I'm excited. I'm gonna get this cooking. I'm gonna chop up my onions. I need to get a for them. Your whatever weekly-ish reminder that Pyrex is the only way in this world and it's Pyrex or nothing. I also love her the most, but I'm just gonna chop this onion, cook this meat, and then prepare a taco bowl. Hello friends. It's the 4th of July. I like care about that. But it's a fun day to get together with your pals. I am going to I ate like half of that almond cake that we got from nothing but cakes yesterday. I ate the rest of it for breakfast, of course, because it was so freaking good. I just like wasn't hungry enough to finish it, but I'm like so thrilled that I have the rest of it to eat today. And I am just gonna give our pasta salad a stir and see where she stands on the dressing situation. Because if you've ever made a pasta salad, you know that it loves nothing more than to soak up the dressing. So you need to like give her a good stir to make sure She's not like super dried out. Can't really. Oh my goodness, I dropped some. Hmm. I want to put a tiny bit more dressing on and then call it a day. Mm. Okay. Just added a little tiny, tiny bit more. And that'll be good. during sale times, which is really horrid, but that's where we're at. So I was up very, very, very late, unable to sleep. So I got caught up on Love Island USA. I feel like I'm just gonna watch Love Island UK whenever Love Island USA is over. Space them out because I get it too confused and I was more invested in the USA season, which is so odd for me. But I usually prefer the UK season, but I just don't like the people on it. And like, I don't know what it is about UK Love Island. Everybody 
which like I am 0% against plastic surgery. You do whatever you need, you feel better about you, right? But the people, it's just like every single person has so much plastic surgery, it's kind of shocking. I saw a video of a plastic surgeon who was like guessing the ages of Love Island UK contestants. And she was wild. Wild, wild, wild. But I do want to finish off my planner from yesterday. And then I will simply, simply, simply go eat my cake. But that's where we're at today. The wax I have going in my office is so good. But I need to begin our packing for Andrea's. I don't like need to right now exactly, but like I'm going to situation, you know? Very shifty, very shifty. Ugh. I have my bags. I have like our stuff from our prior D and D campaign. So, kind of toss all that shit into the corner. If I'm being honest with you, I just can't be bothered. dice that I am going to bring with me to D&D &D this week to give to Tony but because he's the resident green boy he's playing a turtle and basically when he joined the game group we had already established our colors that we play as basically Nick likes to be yellow I like to be red Chris likes to be blue Andrea likes to be, uh, well I like to be black if there is a black, but if not, I'll be red. Andrea likes to be um, pink or purple usually, and so basically the color that was left over that's like a popular board game color is green. So, we just remember that Tony is green. So in this bag, we put Andrea's tripod that she brought to video on Monday, and then travel games, and then I have Kirsten's order, Andrea's order, and then a bunch of kits from a perfect pair video, so we'll toss that all in there too, and then whenever we need to leave, all I need to grab is the pasta salad. I'm in a very, not very good headspace today, if I'm being honest with you guys, just like feeling in the dumps, down, bad in the dumps just be like that sometimes so it's just honestly where I'm at and yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna chill I guess until it's time to leave I don't really have any pressing matters I was considering filming filling out journaling cards but like I just feel genuinely in such like a downward mood that I don't really want to so of me doing all of the journaling cards and I got like a moment of motivation I guess you could say. We did that and now we're gonna just prep the orders aka like lay out the first five. So let's see who were the first five people to shop this sale. We have Jacqueline from Texas. Jacqueline she got the honor card. She wanted Andrea's freebie, so we'll grab one of those. She's getting it in last month's foil of the month, and she'll get an oops bag. Here is her oops bag, as well as one of the first orderers. So that'll be for Jacqueline. Then we have Emily, I believe is next. Yep, Emily's from the PR team. So we have her card. She is gonna automatically get her own freebie, which she's getting in the new Silver Waves as well. She wanted Andrea's freebie, which I have a bunch of these in a row of the last month's full of the month. She will get a um, first 30 thing and an oops bag here hers is 
super cute. Next up, we have, oh my God, I forgot the vinyls. Forgot we have our vinyls that go out with orders. Um, we will give this one to Emily. It says hydrate or die because she literally, in all of her notes, tells me to drink water and we'll throw a take it easy over for Jacqueline. Silly, silly rabbit. So many free things. We have Katie from Texas. Her journaling card. And Katie wants Emily's freebie. She's going to get one in Lavender Hollow. And then her die cut um, is this one. It says, You never go. If you never go, you will never know. She gets an oops bag. Here is hers. And one of the first 30 baggies. Then we have Miss Madison, love her. Here's her card and she is on the PR team so she will get her own freebie. And her, the one she's gonna get is gonna be in the Silver Stars. Her little joy cut. We're gonna give her this chocolate ice cream cone. And then she is gonna get a, um, we'll give her this the first 30 and she will get an oops bag here is her oops bag and then the last one for the first five orders is Kathy from California she did not do a PR freebie so we can skip that step and we'll grab her a die cut we'll grab this one that just says mental health matters because it does her oops bag, grab this one right here. And we'll grab a first 30, there we go. That is those first five orders. They are ready to rock and roll for whenever we get to working on orders. I'm gonna need to pull foil before we do that, but we're gonna need to leave here in like 25 minutes. So I will not be doing that right now, but yeah, super cute, super fun. Probably gonna get started working on orders tomorrow, so that'll be good. I'm gonna need to order paper, so I'm probably not gonna, I'm gonna like start working tomorrow. I'm gonna like pull foil and probably order paper and stuff. They're not open right now, so it doesn't matter if I order it today tomorrow, so. Probably get through like all of the orders that I would get through this weekend with the paper that I have though, so that's good, but. Super fun. I'm obsessed with it this month's. Um, I just love the cotton candy foil. It's so good. But this month's freebie. It has a quote from, um, thank you, Amy, from the Torture Poets Department. But the quote just says, all that time you were throwing punches. Um, I was building something. And I just love that sentiment. So good. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to get to at the moment. Okay, guys. This is a very delayed. Um start to the day i got up me and kristen played some mario kart together and then we went on a lunch date went to snooze and it was good i got the pancake flight per usual the pancake of the week was so good it was like a chocolate peanut butter like buckeye pancake i believe so good but i always get the blueberry lemon one i think it's called like blueberry cobbler or something and then i'm pushing a giant box full of from Amazon. Let's see if this box fits these parameters that Nick gave me yesterday that he was looking for. And he's gonna bring it to him tomorrow if he needs it. But um basically we went there and it was good except for the sweet potato pancake was presented to me raw. Like not me being dramatic because like I'm the first to tell you that I'm a dramatic human being. But like actually legitimately like soupy so so had to get that rectified which was it was so funny the guy came over and i was like yeah um these two pancakes are fine but this one's raw he's like let me see and i showed it to him he's like this yeah let me get you a new one he was just like i feel like maybe he thought i was also being dramatic and then he saw it and he was like yeah no, that's just a lot of stuff 
stuff. There was that. I just get printer paper from Amazon. Nothing fancy, but I'm gonna figure out the dimensions of this box. Frick. See on the bottom. It'd be really nice if it did. Uh, I don't think so. But I'll figure her out, okay? Okay. It is definitely big enough, so I just took a picture of it and texted it to Nick to see if he wanted it. Oh my god, in the mail today. If he needs it, I can bring it. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Like he's getting a nice forehead thing. So I'm thinking about starting a book Instagram. We'll see if I end up. But like I've been thinking about it for like a few weeks now. <sighs> but I have literally a raging headache today. It's really, I'm really going through it, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not mentally doing well. Horrid currently, and the reason Chris and I went out to lunch and played Mario Kart was to occupy my brain. But now he is streaming, so my brain is free to bully myself because that's what my brain does best. Does anybody else's? Does anybody else's brain just constantly like to bully them? Or am I alone in that? Something tells me I'm not. I need a hair tie. So just, I can't stand my hair being down. Oh, Nick did answer. We'll see if he wants this box. Heck yeah, I'll take whatever boxes. Thank you, okay. So, I guess I will give him the box. So, that is that. Let's see y'all. I, I always get so warm when I'm pulling foil, but I pulled foil for about half of the orders I have printed, I would say. Took for forever, but the only thing I needed to order was strawberry foil. So, that was exciting. It only cost like $30, which is so good because pulling foil, or whenever I pull foil, it always usually ends in a fat bill. So, I love when it doesn't, but I am about to, I just took a bunch of planner pictures, the first half of this week's spread, and, um, all of those bases that I filmed reels for so I'm gonna edit those and I'm also gonna edit and schedule the reels for this upcoming week and just like do the day you know you know okay guys I had an unexpected call with my sister um she had FaceTime me when me and Chris were on a walk and so I called her back and then you know we're on the phone for like an hour oh I knew I wasn't done putting stuff away I was picking up all of my stuff for my mailbox in Andrea's house, but I'm just gonna bring this back into my office, and then my plan is, is I'm gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna get Taco Bowl, because it's like 8.30, and I should probably eat dinner, and I'm not starving, um, are you the type of person where, like, you're hungry, like, you eat your feelings, or do your feelings make you not eat? I'm a my feelings make me not eat type of gal. Unfortunately. <sighs> but. I could also make mac and cheese, but this is. Ew, it's not on the ground. I think it's a pepperoni from Chris's Big Bites. Also, apparently, I'm in the wrong for this because everybody was on Chris's side, which absolutely offended me. So I'm counting on you guys to be on my side. Chris got bagel bites, right? Well, he's been bitches up in the microwave, and that made me want to gag. Actually, it indeed did make me gag. It didn't make me want to gag. The gag didn't happen. And I think that's disgusting because the thought of... So, okay, this one just broke, so I'm gonna toss that in here. The idea of a like chewy, mushy bagel. Okay, rubber band on this just snapped. That's awkward. Um, the, deal, the idea of a chewy bagel like that. Like if I got a bagel from like specifically Dunkin' Donuts is what comes to mind is I tell them to double toast it. I like 
taco sauce. This might be about done. I exit the kitchen. Yeah, these are fine. Good enough. Um, not probably like the best way to go about this, but honestly, I just get paper towels and I put them on there and then I crush it in the paper towel because they're hot. This is way too many tostadas, but the thing, the seal, I'm gonna go so it's fine. I like a little crunch, I actually like a lot of crunch. Okay, I kept those pieces a little bit too big, but hey, it's fine. Just crush it extra with my fork. Smell nice and oniony tonight. Cute, I know. So romantic. Mmm, perfect. It looks like two o'clock and I've been neglecting you all day. I've just been working on designing Halloween stuff. And then um, Chris and I just went to McDonald's because they have like this new meal deal where it's like five dollars and you get a small fry, a small soda, a four piece nugget, and a you either pick a McDouble or a McChicken. So we each got the one with the McDouble and I upgraded it for like 40 cents. It was like 5.40 instead of $5 for a large soda. And like, I don't like a McDouble. So the hack is that I take one of the patties off and give it to Chris. So now he has a McTriple and I'm a single burger with the four nuggets and a pie and my drink. And we both got the same soda pop, which was ah, so tasty. Which is one of my faves. So obviously we're killing it. I'm killing it. Making lots of new Halloween releases. I just felt like in the mood to design. So last night I like brainstormed stuff and then today designing, but you guys are gonna die, so I'm gonna go now. Hello friends. It's Sunday. I slept till eleven thirty because in the words of Bo Burn, I'm woke up at eleven thirty feeling like a bag of shit. But I didn't go to sleep till 4, so like, and I woke up at 11, I got out of bed at 11.30, but I still only like 7 hours of sleep, so it's not like I'm being that crazy. It's just like, when my brain is like this, it's kind of hard to turn it off to go to sleep. So, that's where I'm at. But I'm making myself some macaroni and cheese for lunch. And then I think I'm gonna start working on salad orders, get probably a handful of those done today. And then I need to like print and pack, print packing slips and pack up. The orders I already had done for the week and whatever I get done today is probably like the plan because tomorrow um, will be like our classic Monday. We'll do like our regular Monday things. We won't be in this vlog, but then we need to go to Andrea's house at around probably three, maybe two. She's not sure yet um, because the boys have a concert that they're going to and we need to film a video for Night Shift. So that's the current plan. Hmm. So I should probably get started on these orders. But I've just been like so not in a good headspace that I don't want to do anything besides lay in bed and doom scroll and veg, which is horrible vibes, but that's just the reality of living right now. So that's that. Um, pretty exciting. My dad gets here, I think a week from Wednesday, maybe, or a week from Tuesday. I don't know. I didn't remember the exact date. I could look at me planner. D&D &D was a really fun last night. Father gets here Tuesday, a week from Tuesday. Um, basically, if 
you don't care about D&D, sorry about this, but I'm gonna talk about it because I care about it. And this is my channel, but basically we're playing Curse of Strahd and last session we like helped release these spirits that were being like held captive at this house. And so this session we were like still in the town and we had originally been sent to the town to save like, I don't know, there's some fancy word for it that I don't know. Basically like the mayor of the town's daughter, Irina. And we come across this guy, Ismark, and at like the tavern and he is Irina's sister. And we find out that like the letter we got, like asking us to come there was fraud. It wasn't actually his dad. And so basically the whole thing is like, Strahd, he's a vampire. He bit Irina but didn't turn her into a vampire. And we need to get her somewhere safe. So we went and helped them bury their father, but then the priest at the church's son was turned into a vampire, so we had to take care of that. And my character hates vampires. So like I was really conflicted because I'm a fighter with like a soldier sub genre, so like I really want to like protect people. But I also hate vampires. So it was really like he was the the son was trying to convey to us that he could be strong enough to resist. Because apparently you don't like fully turn until you like taste blood and he hasn't tasted blood yet. He was like, cut your hand and show it to me. I can resist. Set timer 12 minutes. And he simply tried to attack Sal, which is Nick's character, and so I had to off with his head, you know? So we did that, we buried their dad, and then Strahd showed up and was like farting mad hard with Irina, and she's like, acting like she doesn't know what's going on, but I have suspicious feelings about Irina, because she was apparently found in the woods when she was like six or seven, covered in blood, and she got adopted, and she doesn't remember anything all very suspicious to me and there's like this whole thing that like she has red hair and people with red hair like are like special i guess i don't know so i made her dye her hair so that she would be it's like really rare i guess i mean it's already rare but it's like even more rare and so i made her dye her hair to like try to hide who she is because they want us to transport her to somewhere safer so it's just really tricky tricky times so we also at the end we're going back to the inn and this lady approached us Morganta, and she was trying to sell us pies right nick buys one and he like rolls to see like what kind of meat it is and based on his roll all he could decipher was that it's a meat he has never smelt or seen before because it wasn't like a minced meat pie should have been like beef chicken pork lamb something normal and so I can't be convinced that it's not human. And she, she has daughters and they live in a windmill and I'm like, not nah, her daughters be in this pie. And I can't be convinced otherwise. So it's basically, what, oh, and then she was just being really annoying. So I just did an unarmed strike on her and I punched her in the face. And then Andrea's like, I'm gonna try punching her in the face. And then Andrea missed and she's like, punch her in the face again. So then I punched her in the face again. And it was, hilarious because i'm like really strong and so i get a plus of five to my rolls for attack with unarmed strike so i just like pow, pow. yeah i also made the only shop keep mad at us because he came into the bar and was bullying ismar who's already going through enough his dad just died his sister was bitten by a vampire and is being hunted by the vampire lord and he's just like oh ismar the lesser <laughs> so i stood up for ismar because you know it's my civil duty here and yeah that's basically that but i'm gonna eat my macaroni probably play a little bit of bga while i eat and then i'm gonna get to working on a few orders chris is editing a video it'll be the video you guys saw prior to this which is all of the books that i read quarter two of the year really appreciate it if you went and watched that because my book videos don't do fabulously but i really enjoy making them so even if you just put it on in the background i'd appreciate you and i'll talk with you guys later bone apple tea added some black pepper and um macaroni it sounds 
so good. I've actually been wanting it since last night when we got home from D&D. But I was like really not like in the mood to make it. And like I, it like sounded good, but I knew I would only eat like a third of it. So I was like, no, must save her for when I'm gonna actually consume her. Also, monster cookie fluff puff, I think, going right now from Rose Girls. I just forgot how good that scent is. It smells so strongly of pie crust, and I love. So I highly recommend doing Rose Girls pie crust. But I'm watching some Disney videos, and I'm gonna play some B G A. Well, I eat just i'm trying to fix my freaking robot vacuum it like it's just like not connecting to the wi-fi so i think it might just be dead because it got unplugged so i'm still hoping that gets fixed okay guys i'm about to package up the last order that i'm doing for today and this is miss samantha look at how stunning this foil is the brown hollow pebbles was so popular. I'm shocked. It, it was like one that I was a little nervous about whether or not it would be like perceived well, I guess. And y'all freaking loved it. But yes, just take Samantha's order. Samantha. And this is Samantha from Iowa. I think I, I think that's Iowa all of the orders with the um multi-shop grab bag have to go in bigger bubble mallers because of the wax melt that's in them and like the kit and stuff just makes them too chunky for regular maller the smaller mallers but yeah we have mailbin it's not like super full because i didn't get started working i only worked probably honestly for being real with it worked for like four and a half five hours today by the time like i woke up and stuff but i feel good about it i feel good about what i got done i just ordered paper like sticker paper which is always so depressing literally but hey it's what it is and yeah then i will Tomorrow, let's, let's work on my planner, okay? I don't know if I'm going to read today, so I'm not, like, super confident in everything I want to put in. There's, like, a 50% chance. Maybe a little bit less, if I'm being honest. But, oop, ba -doop, here we are. Mark YouTube and work, which is true. Chris is going to go get us food right now because... Listen, it just is what it is. So we'll mark that. Getting the takeout. Let's do the car emoji. You know. Perfect. And yeah, I used like everything that I could use. I'll so just write. McD's. And then. I don't really know. I might read. I know we'll watch House of the Dragon and Love Island today, so I guess I can't really fill anything else in currently. But ugh, ready for next week's spread? We go from we went from this super pink spread to this like neutrally pink spread to like bam summer, and I love it. <sighs> My bad. Chris should be here back here shortly. I don't think it's gonna take him particularly long for whatever he's doing so yeah and honestly the reason i stopped working is because the next order is so many custom multis and like my brain is not there right now that's tomorrow hannah problem okay guys <clears throat> just to get my macky doodles my maccas my mickey my donalds all the things and it's like 6 30 and so basically I have an hour and a half until an episode of Love Island will be available. Slash Game of Thrones, or House of the Dragon. Pero I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to be honest, I washed my hair yesterday. And I'm going to wash it again today because guess what? 
That's what I do when I'm feeling mentally unstable. And then I'm going to try and read some of The Hunger Games. Because I have not read in... I have not read since I finished a novel love story, which was the book club book pick. I think I finished that maybe Tuesday, and it's now Sunday. I feel like whenever I am mentally on the struggle bus, you know, I um don't read because for me, I like can't concentrate, and so like my mental capacity is. Um, only really working for like doom scrolling basically <laughs> so yeah, this is one that's really good monster cookie fluff puff I've just been like binge melting it but yeah so basically that's that tomorrow it's gonna be a new day it'll be a good day you know so I just haven't really been able felt like I could like really focus on reading but I like want to read so I'm gonna try um I'm gonna I got, got work done today so I'm not gonna feel like guilty about doing anything that's another thing it's like I haven't worked really I mean like I designed all Halloween and released it yesterday which they're so good and I think I know which foil I'm gonna do for the foil of the month and it's also for August so I'm gonna take a shower and then begin the Hunger Games and since this is YA and I already know the story, I would, ugh, why did I not take the sticker off of this? That's disgusting. Ew. But I think I should be able to get pretty decently far in this. I don't know what is wrong with this book. I just cracked this spine so hard by opening it. I'm going to keep her closed. But I'm gonna read that. I do have like a huge list of, I mean, a huge thing of books. I could read if it doesn't like grab me, but I think I really wanna read that. I think I wanna like figure out like a, I don't know, there's so many books that I like wanna get to really soon. So that that's why I'm like watching all these book videos and I'm like, I need to get through some books so I can read all these books I wanna read. Cat Robo vacuum to work. You can probably hear her. Her name's Cinderella, in case you wondered. Who requested to name it when you set it up. And I named mine Cinderella because Cinderella was a house cleaner from Bam Bam, so I thought it was a funny name. But um yeah. Just got done showering. I feel oh so rejuvenated post-washing my hairs. And now I'm going to get to starting the book. I don't know if I want to like use my lazy girl setup or what. I guess I probably will because I am a lazy girl after all. When it comes to holding my book and turning the pages manually, why do that when we live in a world where we don't have to? You know what I'm saying? Also, why do you turn like that? Because I kept bending over and I didn't want you all to see my beauty, so... I know that the sound of the vacuum is going to drive me insane, so hopefully she goes towards another portion of the house here soon. Hunger Games. I don't want her coming in my room because, um, because, um, 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 um I got too much shit on the floor, simply. Alrighty guys, I forgot to say so long farewell. Well, you know, toodles, it was nice seeing you. Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment a fire emoji. Why? No reason, just because. Because you're fire, okay? Um, yeah, but well, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!